today's video and this one is very exciting because it is going to be all about how I am packing for my vacation. Now this is actually the first vacation that I've ever taken from any job that I've ever had. So that is really exciting. And before anyone says anything, yes, we are going to be staying safe. We are following all guidelines. But it's gonna be fun. I am, I'm just super excited. That's all we've been saying for like a month. And we're not like going to party or anything. I'm not gonna say where we're traveling to yet. That'll come up later after we've already been there just cause I'm not trying to have people like, you know, stalk me or anything. But we're just going on a trip. It's gonna be me, my friend, and then her little brother. We're taking him out for his birthday. This is exciting for me because I've flown before, but it was like when I was 13 and my my mom did all the work so this is gonna be my first time flying as an adult kind of figuring out everything for myself so that way in the future when I do get to travel with Colton I'll be better equipped to take him along the ride and feel secure knowing that I know what to do but anyways that's not why you're here today you're here to watch me get ready for this trip before we get into any of this hi my name is Samantha or Sammy for short and I'm a certified personal trainer and a young mom if either or both of those things interest you then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be informed when I upload all of my future content and while you're at it you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Samantha five underscores and yes it is five underscores because my name is pretty popular you can also go ahead and follow me on TikTok at Sammy for short now with all of that being said now way let's get in to the video I am starting off by tidying up my room just so that I can feel more relaxed in a clean space and I'm also going to be putting Colton's laundry away because it's kind of been sitting in a basket for a couple of days I don't really like to do that but it happens to the best of us so this is just another thing to clear my mind and get things ready for uh, my trip so that I don't have to worry about leaving anything unattended while I'm gone and now I'm just emptying and loading the dishwasher I try to do this on a daily basis and keep up with it so it's something that usually happens at least once or twice a day and I just meal prepped the other day so it's kind of a lot more than normal so I just wanted to make sure that I'm keeping up with it Now, as you can see, this stove is an absolute mess from my meal prep, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that as well as wiping off the counters. And here we have the after. Now there's some parts that are kind of just gonna stay that way for the end of time, but it looks a lot better than before. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep everything from the kitchen into the living room so that way I can go ahead and vacuum it up when I'm done. It is currently 5.07, so a couple minutes later than I would have liked. I'm about to head out and get Colton now, and I did do like a little outfit change to make myself feel a little more put together, even though this is still a mess, and this is still a mess, but it's okay, this shirt's fine. Because I also realized I wear that jacket that I've been wearing in this video almost every vlog I do, so I realized I needed to take that off and put something else on, look semi-cute gonna go get my son and we're gonna have a good afternoon. I'll probably start filming again after Colton goes to sleep when I'm like actually getting into the packing portion of this. It is now Tuesday so last night I didn't end up packing. What I had done was just try on some outfits that I had prepared in my brain for the last month but here's the thing with that. Sometimes your body changes and I've actually lost weight but I've lost weight and I've gained muscle in certain areas I bought this one romper specifically for the trip and it looked fine, but I felt very uncomfortable in it. I just, my body, I didn't like it. So I ended up throwing that out completely and just trying on some different outfits to see what I would feel comfortable in. Cause I do want to look cute. I want to take some good pictures, but 
I also want to be comfortable and feel confident in what I'm wearing so I look even better. So I am going to share with you kind of what I'm packing. I am not going to be finished packing probably even until tomorrow morning just because there's certain things that I'll be using up until at least tonight. Like my backpack, I can't pack that yet because I have to use it for work today. And I am honestly, for a girl especially, I'm a pretty minimalist packer. I like to be a minimalist in general. I don't believe in like getting anything unless I absolutely need it, which is a good and a bad thing sometimes. With that being said, I will go ahead and I will let you know everything that I think is necessary to bring. It's only a four day trip, so it's shouldn't I shouldn't need that much. And also, here's the thing too. I'm not somebody that's going to ever overpack because if you, it's not like we're going in the middle of nowhere. Like we're gonna be around a lot of people with a lot of things and yes, we might need to Uber back and forth, but whatever. If we need something, we can go ahead and we can go get it. Like there will be a Walmart somewhere or a Target or whatever we need, we'll be able to find something. So I'm not that worried about bringing too many essentials. I'm sure this would be different if we were going to like a deserted island. You know what I mean? That Then obviously prepare in advance, but we're going to be around lots of things, so it'll be okay. So I was honestly the type of person, I wasn't even going to pack any shoes. I have one pair of shoes, I'll actually show you, that I'll be wearing the entire time. And that is these guys. I'm wearing them on the plane and with every outfit that I have packed here. There's no reason for me to pack these, so that saves some space in my suitcase. We are going to be going swimming, so I just got some flip-flops so that doesn't even take up hardly any space i brought this romper it's really cute but it's kind of old my, it was my sister's and it'll make me feel comfortable and cute at the same time with that i am gonna bring a pair of spandex to wear underneath just so nothing's all hanging out and then the only other extra item i'm bringing is this other pair of shorts is just in case any issues occur so i always recommend when you have those extra items put them at the bottom of your bag because you probably won't need them. But if you do, then they're still there, but they're not on top of everything that you actually need. My like sleepwear. I'm just gonna be wearing a baggy t-shirt every time I sleep, but because my friend's little brother is going with us, I wanna be respectful when like he is up and I'm out of my own room. So I got, you know, just some basic sweatpants. And then this is my baggy t-shirt. I am packing a sports bra and leggings just in the event that I can use the gym, which I hope I really can. If not, maybe I can do like a little workout on the balcony or something. And then I have a swimsuit because we are going to be going swimming at least once. Now I'm mad because it's a white swimsuit and it's really cute. And I still think that I'm gonna have a visit from somebody. And in my opinion, I think you only need one swimsuit. I don't think you need multiple options. So just get one solid one that you know you're gonna look fire in and forget about the rest. My day two outfit is gonna be these jean shorts that I just bought. Now they're not my favorite, so that's another reason I brought the backup ones just in case I don't feel super comfortable or confident in these. And then I have this tie up crop top. And then my day one outfit is gonna be this little uh, crop top. Yes, it is very little, but it stretches a lot. I promise you it fits, covers everything it needs to. These jean shorts, really like this. I actually wore this outfit. So I've just got this uh, basic like halter, I guess it's what's called halter top, socks, some underwear, some bras. We're good to go. That's all you need. You don't need 10 outfits. You don't need three pairs of shoes. Plan out what you're doing that day. Like I, I don't have a whole itinerary. I like to kind of go with the flow, but plan out at least what, how many areas you're going to. So those are all the clothes, everything else I'm going to do later tonight. So I'll try to film that because that's where I'm a little bit more confused on. I know I'm going to bring my laptop. I know I'm going to bring probably two books, wallet, obviously, things of that nature. I'm not sure if I need to put them in this bag or bring them in my carry-on. I'm going to bring like electronics, definitely, in my carry-on. I'll probably bring one book in there as well. Just like basic personal items, I guess. See what happens tonight. This is the beginnings of my packing. I feel stressed because I feel like I should bring more, but I don't want to bring any more. <laughs> So this is everything else that I have packed. I brought a sweater just in case I got cold either on the plane, in the airport, or even in Florida because to me 60 something is when it got a little chilly. I brought my journal, my business notebook, some pens, an extra mask, my toothbrush and toothpaste. I have two different toothpastes, one for the morning and one for at night which is like a charcoal one. My face wash, um, shampoo, makeup wipes, 
my wallet, everything important in there, my hair ties, scrunchies, chargers for my laptop, phone, and headphones, as well as Apple Watch. I got my face mask, glasses, my Beat headphones, my laptop, pepper spray, super important. Um, got some tampons, you know, just in case. Brought my basic witch's book, which is the book I'm reading this month, some bug spray, sunscreen, basically just a bunch of essential products. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that if you did, you like, comment, and share with your friends, and let me know if you have any trips planned for the rest of the year, or maybe in the rest of the years to come. Just make sure that you are staying safe while doing so. With all of that being said, I'm going to go, but before I do, I want to remind you all to stay positive, be active, and most importantly, do what keeps you healthy.